hey guys welcome back to roma's kitchen welcome back to another video please head on over to instagram and follow my business page at the main place underscore and on facebook at the main place so i'm a huge planting lover i love planting for breakfast i love planting for lunch i love planting for dinner hey i even love planting after dinner so i love making banana bread and i was like hey planting and bananas are related so if i like making banana bread why not try to make plantain bread i tried it it was so good so i decided to share the recipe with you guys so if you want to see how plantain bread is made in roma's kitchen stick around right after this intro so first things first guys your oven should be on at 350 degrees fahrenheit and i'm using three plantings here three chinese plantings they're the closest things i could get to plantings back home now i just went ahead i cut them up i added them to a bowl and i'm using here a potato masher and i'm trying to get these as close as possible to baby food like te like texture of course if you like little chunks of planting in your planting bread you can you know make it a little chunky if you do not have a potato masher go ahead and use a fork so once i'm done with this i'm just going to rest this to the side i'm getting everything off my masher then i'll be resting this to the side and i'm getting my wet ingredients ready i'm using now one stick of unsalted butter and your butter should be at room temperature at this time now i'll be adding to this one cup of granulated sugar and yes sugar is a wet ingredient now after doing this i'll be creaming my butter and my sugar if you do not have a hand mixer for it not thyself you can use a whisk i'm just basically trying to get my butter and my sugar nice and together i'll be adding two eggs in total to my mixture but i'll be adding in the eggs one at a time because i do not want you know one of my eggs to be bad and i add it to my mixture and i have to discard off the entire thing so what i'm doing here i hope you guys can see i'm trying to remove the eye of the egg it's just that little white thing that's attached to the eggs it tends to get your whatever you're baking a bit raw even though i'll be adding some lemon juice to this this is it i prefer to remove these so once i do this i'll just be adding in i'll just be adding it to my butter and my sugar and I'll be just repeating the steps for the other egg and add it to my butter and my sugar mixture. So now that we're through with that, I'll just be adding now the planting mixture back. I'll be adding the planting mixture to this and then I'll just be adding the rest of the wet ingredients. Now to begin, I'll be adding a half cup of milk then i'll be going in with one tablespoon of vanilla extract quarter teaspoon of nutmeg extract and nutmeg extract is very very strong so you just want to add a quarter teaspoon and i'll also be adding in a quarter teaspoon of rose water now guys i'm adding in a half of a lemon if you do not have lemon if you do not have the fresh lemon of course you can go ahead and add your lemon extract juice and this is just to eliminate the rawness from the egg you do not want your cake or your banana your planting loaf to be raw you do not want that so add in your lemon juice or your lime extract whatever you have now I'm just going to be mixing this 
just to get all the wet ingredients nice and together of course if you're like me and you do not want to be using the spatula to do this you can just use your hand mixer but do not mix for too long i'm just going to mix this for about two to three minutes just just once you see everything that everything is nice and together you can stop mixing because you do not want to over mix your thing once you over mix your thing it will become you know it will become dry and you do not want that so two to three minutes mix this up good then we'll move on to getting our dry ingredients ready now my secret ingredient which is not so secret anymore is adding some oatmeal I'm adding a half cup of blended oatmeal or if you have the ready-made oatmeal flour which is just blended oatmeal just the same you add a half cup and then I'm going to be also adding one and a half cups of all-purpose flour to this so one and a half cups of all-purpose flour guys and a half cup of blended oatmeal or oatmeal flour now in the same breath I'll be adding one teaspoon of baking soda if you do not have baking soda you use three teaspoons of baking powder I'm adding one teaspoon of cinnamon powder too and a quarter teaspoon of salt so what I'll be doing now I'll just be taking my whisk and I'll be just mixing all the, the dry ingredients together and uh, you know to get it nice and airy even though it just went through the strainer so what I'll be doing now is I'll be adding the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients but you do not want to add it all at once you want to add it half at a time so now I'm folding in my mixture I'm not mixing guys I'm folding in I'm going around and in the middle around and in the middle and I'm just going to be doing that until this half of the dry ingredients has been mixed out completely then I'll be adding the next half of the dry ingredients to my wet ingredients and I'll be folding in folding in it just the same So the folding in process has been completed and now I'm going to be adding this mixture to my nicely greased loaf tin ensuring to get every single thing, all the mixture from the bowl into your loaf tin. Once this has been completed, I'll just shake my loaf tin just to get the top of it nice and leveled now I'm just going to prepare to add this to my oven which from the beginning should have been at 350 degrees Fahrenheit now I'll be placing this in my oven it's nice and warm and I'll be turning the timer on to one hour and if after one hour your cake it, you take your cake out you insert a toothpick or a knife in the middle and it's not done you just add it back in for an extra five minutes now guys after the one hour look at this goodness look at my planting bread guys looking good smelling good tasting good look at these slice look at this slice guys nice moist lovely guys this has been this is just so good so 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 good so guys you know what to do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so hit that like button share this video subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on leave a comment until next video